Coucou tout le monde, c'est Capet de Coin Academy. Je suis avec Ignazi Ramos de Polygon. Ça me fait très plaisir. Aujourd'hui, encore une petite interview en anglais parce qu'il est espagnol, il ne parle pas le français. Ignazi, how are you? Bonjour, I'm good. Thank you very much for this interview. Yeah. So today we'll discuss about Polygon. Can you explain us quickly what is Polygon? Yeah, sure. Polygon, let's say it's like a suite that it pretends to offer uh, different services, different blockchains and Web3 solution to any kind of profile from developers, from Web2 companies to Web3 companies, um, offer them a solution that best will fit their gap mm -hmm. or the limitations to onboarding to Web3 and to blockchain and make that onboarding as uh, easy and, and suitable for, for the needs as possible. Yeah, and what is your role in the uh, Polygon ecosystem? Actually, I am working at the Polygon CKBM team. More exactly, I'm in the protocol and integration team. So from okay. all the different uh, products that Polygon has, I am at the Polygon CKBM one. Yeah, so you were working for Polygon uh, Hermes or even Hermes before? Yeah, exactly. Well, actually, it's the same product, but uh, the name has changed. <coughs> uh, since the very beginning, Hermes was a roll-up, a CK roll-up, building the CKBM. Yeah. And At the very beginning, it was in a separate company, but it was acquired like two years ago by Polygon. Uh, after onboarding on Polygon, the name changed to Polygon CKBM. Yeah, yeah. So it's and, the same product. And today, like a few weeks ago, Polygon announced Polygon 2.0. Can you explain us what is 2.0 and why, by the way? Um, yeah, sure. Um, well, Polygon 2.0 tries like to, um, after the acquisition of different products and upset the creation of different uh, solutions uh, that I said at, at the beginning, um, we are trying like to join all of them in a same ecosystem and make um, moving assets or moving uh, features from one to the other one very easy. Also at the same time uh, with Polygon.0 we want like to empower um, this new token that well it's the same token but uh, mm. with a different name and with a lot of different functionalities. Yeah so can you tell us what was before it was the Matic token now you are talking about uh, Poly token? That's Paul, it. Paul, Paul. P-O-L. Yes. P-O-L, that's true. Paul, what is new with this token? Well, honestly, it's like everything gets new. We go from a, a RC token, RC20 token um, for mainly staking, and we move to a hyperproductive token, that's how we call it, that will be used for uh, a lot of stuff, for um, staking the different products that there are in the suite of Polygon, also for governance, tokenomics, DeFi, um, it will become the same token, but uh, it will be the utility will expand uh, huge. Yes. Yeah, I see. And you are talking about ZK EVM, which means you have ZK, but mostly EVM, Ethereum Virtual Machine. Exactly. You want to make sure that programs who are for Ethereum or ERC20 chain, let's say, uh, EVM chain, work on this EVM. Why you choose EVM and not like something more performance-like Starkware, for yes, example. Sure. Um, first of all, um, we really trust on how Ethereum works, um, but uh, we all know that it has some bottlenecks. One of them is the scalability, that it directly affects the price. Yeah. This makes the onboarding of developers and the usage of this network um, sometimes and for some use case difficult to afford. So the solution that it appears are rollups. Um, it seems like two uh, types of rollups seems to work to scale Ethereum. One is the optimistic rollup and the other is the zero knowledge. Mm. Uh, we move to the zero knowledge approach. And what do we want is that for a Ethereum developer um, to be developing on the CKVM, make exactly use the same tools that have already been tested and used on the on Ethereum, use it on the Polygon CKVM. To do this, we have to do um, the rollup 100% compatible and behave exactly like the EVM. Yeah. So we want to do that Uh, from the developer's experience, um, developing with the EVM of developing the Ethereum to be exactly the same as developing with the CKVM. Yeah. And I really think that we really did F it. Focusing exactly. on compatibility and trusting Ethereum ecosystem mostly. Okay, yes. I see. And what are the biggest milestones of Polygon? What are the are, what are you the most proud of right now? Well. Um, There has been many, many milestones and big achievements in Polygon since it started in 2017. In my, in my case, and in my opinion, the biggest one is the release on mainnet of the ZKVM. It was in April. It was a huge milestone. We were like the first ZKVM with fully open source code that was deployed on mainnet. Mm. Uh, and it really worked very well. We 
have have been uh, exciting months, mm. but it really it really worked it and the, the 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 feedback from the developers was was very good and it was this was actually what we were looking for. Yeah. And now what are the next steps? Because we talk about a new token, a new tokenomics, uh, ecosystem of multiple rollups. We call that maybe a super chain. That's what to uh, optimism, for example. Yes. So what are the next steps for Polygon? Well, for Polygon, especially for my department in the CKVM, the next step is to make the current CKVM more EVM compatible. We still have um, some pre-compilers and some EIPs <coughs> missing to be what's called as type 2 um, GKVM and also improve the data compression at the moment the current bottleneck of the GKVM in terms of price is storing the data in layer one with this new approach of data compression the price of storing this data so the price of sequencing the transactions will be uh, hardly will be very 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 reduced okay thank you very much so how can we follow your work Twitter Zero X Polygon, yeah, Zero sure. X you Polygon can, Labs. You can follow me on GitHub, on Twitter, yeah. and if you need anything about or you need help deploying on the CKBM, you can contact me directly on Telegram. Okay, I, I will, will put everything in the YouTube description if you want to follow. I hope you like this interview. Thank you very much, Ignazi. And uh, leave a like if you like, leave a comment if you want to talk about something, if you want to push us in the YouTube algorithm. I hope you liked anyway. <laughs> Bye. See you.